Right guys, so the question is, study figure 8 on the insert, which we'll look at in a sec, which are photographs that show vegetation in a hot desert. We need to describe the characteristics of the vegetation shown in the figure. So the key word in the question is describe, so I'm just going to highlight that one so I know for later on that's really important. So when we say describe, we need to say what we can see. We don't have to explain here. There's four marks, so I'm just going to highlight that as well. So as it's a described question in four marks, I need to say four things about the figure. So here we go. Right, first of all here, in this top one, we can see that this particular cactus has a really fat stem. So I'm just going to annotate off that one there. I'm going to write large slash fat stem. Right, I don't need to say why. I literally need to say what I can see. I can also identify here that it's green in colour. So I'm just going to annotate off light green. So it's just a couple of simple things. I'm then going to move on to the next picture here. Right, this one here in the top right has got really small leaves. So I'm just going to annotate off again, small leaves. This is going to help me out when I'm writing in a minute. And lastly, the last picture which we can just see here is really low to the ground. So I'm just going to annotate there, low to the ground. Right, we don't need to use this in this, uh, in this particular question. But I'm just quickly going to talk you through some of the adaptations here. Right, top right, We've got small leaves, so if we've got a smaller surface area, we can't lose as much water. There's less chance due to the fact it's really hot in the desert, often 40 degrees at night, so we don't want to lose water. So smaller leaves, smaller surface area. Over here, we've got a large stem. So when it does rain in the desert, having a large stem enables us to um, be able to hold more water so we can expand and contract. And lastly, if we're light green in colour, we can photosynthesize. But enough of that. Now we're going to crack on and answer the question. So, as it's my first point, I'm going to start off with firstly. So, firstly, we'll put a comma in. The vegetation is green in colour. Right. Second point. Secondly, the the picture in the bottom right. Uh, the vegetation. Sorry, in the bottom in the bottom right picture vegetation in the bottom right picture is low to the ground so remember I don't need to explain it I just need to say what I can see right so so far we've got firstly the vegetation is green in color secondly the vegetation in the bottom right picture is low to the ground as it's my third point I'm gonna write thirdly the cactus because that's what what it is there the one in there in the top left so thirdly the cactus has a large stem again not explaining why just saying what i can see right we've made three points so far we've got four marks here so we need to make one more point as it's my last point i'm going to write lastly the vegetation has small leaves we know that it's to reduce its surface area to reduce um evaporation but actually we don't need to worry about it in this question because the key word is describe so looking at this, we've got firstly the vegetation is green, one mark. Secondly, the vegetation in the bottom right picture is low to the ground. Second mark. Thirdly, the cactus has a large stem. We could put fat in there as well. And then lastly, the vegetation has small leaves. Again, I don't need to explain, but I've made four really clear points that will get me the four marks. Brilliant. Okay. So for this question here, we're asked to study figure seven. So I'm going to highlight study figure seven on the insert. So we'll look at that in a minute. So figure seven shows the distribution of the hot desert ecosystem. And we're asked to describe the distribution. So we need to say where the hot deserts are. So if we have a look at figure seven, we can see that on the key, the areas of yellow is where the deserts are located. So having a look at this, we can see that here, in the Tropic of Cancer, and if I follow that, along the figure, I can see that I've got deserts located either side. If we also have a look at the Tropic of Capricorn, we've got deserts located either side. I'm just going to annotate on here that this is about 30 degrees north and about 30 degrees south of the equator. So that's a point that we could include. So I'm going to write that as our first point. So.
so hot deserts are located 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south of the equator. And I'm going to add along the tropics. Okay. If I go back to my figure seven, I can see that looking at patterns here, that we've got deserts located on the western side of the continent. So this is the continent of South America. This is the continent of Africa. And we've also got Australasia down here. And I can see them. I can see them on the western side. So that's going to be my second point. Deserts are located. western side of the continents. So, so far we've got two points. Now, having a look again at figure seven, it would be good to give some examples of where the deserts are located. So, I'm looking here at this large area of desert across the north of Africa, and that's the Sahara Desert. So, we've got the largest expanse across the north of Africa. However, we've also got other continents as well with deserts. So we've got South America, we've also got in the south of Africa, and we've also got deserts in Australia down here. So I'm going to write some of those examples. So, so the largest area of desert is across... north of Africa, also located in South America and Australia. So I've made sure there that I've got my three points about where the deserts are located. So 30 degrees north and south of the equator on the tropics, located on the western side of the continents, with the largest area of desert across the north of Africa, with the Morsa being located in South America and Australia. So I've covered my three points.